Hi, I'm Lucy, and in this video, we're going to look at surds. But what on earth are surds? A surd is a square root which cannot be reduced to a whole number. What does that even mean? Let's have a look at an example. So square root 25 and square root 9 sixteenths are not surds because even though they are inside a square root sign, they can be evaluated. We can simplify them. Whereas, for example, square root 2 and square root 3 cannot be simplified. They are irrational. If you type them into your calculator, you get lots of decimal places that carry on forever and the numbers cannot be written as fractions. So have a look at this table. See which are thirds and which aren't. Thirds are actually really useful. See how much easier it is to write square root two rather than all of those decimals. And actually, in Pythagoras, we come across them a lot because it is much more accurate to leave it as a third than to round the decimal places. So square root 1044, or the simplified third form of 6 root 29, is much more accurate and easier than writing 31.31, etc. So not all square roots are thirds, but all thirds are square roots. Let's have a look at simplifying thirds. 6 root 29 is the simplified version of square root 1044. But we'll start with much simpler examples. Have a look at these simplified thirds. How have they been simplified? Can you spot what is happening in the working column? How the working connects to the original third? Pause the video have a think and click play when you're ready. Did you notice how when doing the working, we look for a square number that goes into each third and then what it multiplies by? So root four is the square number multiplied by two makes eight. Again, root four is the square number multiplied by three makes 12. In this one, root nine is the square number, multiplied by three makes 27. It could be any square number, 16, 25, 36, 49. Make sure you know your square numbers. Just a quick thing though, root 180, I wouldn't necessarily know that 36 goes into it but I do know that nine does. So I could start by simplifying it to root nine multiplied by root 20, and root 20 isn't fully simplified, so we just keep going. Three root four root five, and all the way down to six root five. So give these questions a go. Pause the video, work out the answers, and click play when you're ready to check. Did you get them right? If not, just make sure that you simplified them fully until no more square numbers factor into them. So that is the beginning of thirds. We now know what they are and how to simplify them. In the next video, we're going to look at how to multiply and divide with thirds and then also how to add and subtract with them.